Children suffering with scoliosis, a curvature of the spine, may one day have new treatment. That is all thanks to the invention of a Long Island teenager who's on a mission. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has the story from Port Washington. Paul is small in stature, but has very big ideas. I'm happy when I'm helping people, and I'm better at helping people by being happy. At four foot ten, the high school senior has endured more than a dozen surgeries to treat severe curvature of the spine, a disability he was born with. I had to go to this hospital for another surgery every three to six months. But none of it stopped him from doing what many other kids do, launching a science research project. But for Harry, it was personal. I'm hoping that the, the treatment will be easier and better for the children so that they won't have to go through the same ordeal that I went through. He designed a spinal implant that expands, allowing the spine to grow straight, buying more time for a child between operations. And he built this model of the spine to simulate growth. These rods keep the spine straight, but over time, they are allowed to slowly expand. Within three years, this should be usable for children. Um, it's just incredible because what happens now is that you don't have to have all of these surgeries. It's a Paul D. Schreiber High School science project that earned him recognition on the world stage. Top honors at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. He's now partnering with an engineering company to get the implant tested and developed. My mission in life was to be as happy, healthy, and productive as I could, and to do something for others whenever possible. Harry Paul heads to Tufts University in the fall to study biomedical engineering and public health with his first invention already patent pending. In Port Washington, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. Best story of the day. All those ribbons on him. Man. Fantastic. Harry Paul has won seven major science awards and more than $20,000 in prize money. We wish him the best of luck at Tufts.